so important and gives us a lot of information about our gut health. So I certainly don't recommend you need to fixate on your bowel movements, but there are a few things to keep in mind. relates to the functioning of our nine meter long digestive tracts is incredibly important for three key reasons. The first one is about digestion because if we don't have a good gut lining we can't actually extract the nutrients from the food we eat. The second reason comes down to our immune system knowing that 70% of our immune system lives along that nine meter digestive tract but it's really this third element that's brought the fame to the concept of gut health. And that is that along that nine meter digestive tract lives trillions of microorganisms. The microbiota, so those microorganisms, as well as the chemicals that they produce. So kind of like their environment, which synergistically work typically to look after us. The gut brain connection essentially is this two way communication that occurs between the gut and the brain. Well, recently we discovered a new key player in this two way communication, those trillions of microorganisms that live in our gut. In fact, the science has shown that targeting them can actually influence things like our mental health. four key pillars. So the first one, yes, is diet. But the second one is stress, because if we're stressed up here, that can really strangle our gut and have a negative influence on the microbes living there. The third one is sleep. And the science has shown that actually just after two days of not having much sleep, that can negatively impact the microbes living within you. And the fourth one is exercise. So just like our muscles need movement, so do the microbes. Unbalanced microbiota actually has been linked with over 70 different chronic conditions. So things like type 2 diabetes, mental health conditions, hypertension. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that's true, but we certainly do know that our gut microbiome actually can have a really powerful impact on our metabolism. I actually call it like the secret weapon to our metabolism because these microbes can do things like influence our appetite. So if you are looking to support your metabolism, it really reinforces the importance of nourishing your microbes. When we eat plant-based foods that contain dietary fiber, actually our human cells can't digest that dietary fiber and instead the bacteria digest it. When the bacteria eat that fiber, they do produce a little bit of gas. Now, for most people, a little bit of bloating is a sign of a well-fed community of microbes because they produce a little bit of gas. But for some people, particularly those with sensitive guts, such as those with irritable bowel syndrome, too much of that gas can actually irritate that gut. Actually, we don't need to fixate on excluding things. So if you enjoy chocolate, absolutely include chocolate in your diet. But hey, why don't you add some mixed dried fruit with that and some mixed nuts and seeds, which are food that feeds your gut bacteria. So think inclusion, not exclusion. different types of stool. Now what we consider as healthy or normal stool is anywhere from type three, four or five. The other thing to keep in mind is the frequencies. So at a minimum, we'd want you to open your bowels at least three times a week and at a maximum, no more than three times a day. And there's another element that, and that's the amount of stool. Because studies have shown that having a bigger stool, if it's a form stool, actually reduces your risk of things like colon cancer. So having one glass of red wine a day or one lager a day or one Guinness a day actually has been associated with feeding some beneficial microbes. But if we go from any more than one a day, actually those potential anti-inflammatory benefits can turn to pro-inflammatory. And that's because the alcohol component can make our gut lining a little bit leaky and allow things into our body that normally wouldn't get there. So it is important uh, that if you enjoy alcohol, that you do so in moderation. Otherwise, your microbes might not like you for it.